Hello, this is Ever, Ever Sword Colors, back to my classroom. Today we're going to go over how to use and why we use artist quality paper. I'll go over the, the type of paper that I use and how I use it. I'll answer a couple of questions I had about how to locate the front and back of the paper. And that's an interesting discussion all by itself. So let's go over to the painting table and I'll show you what I'm talking about and give you a little bit of demonstrations of how to use quality paper. Okay, this is my Gemini 140 pound, 100% cotton watercolor paper. I like the uh, the way the feel of the of the of the quality paper. The stroke, the paint goes down smooth. I did this. I did this stroke earlier. This this stroke here is dry. I did this earlier on a, on a front sheet of the paper. Then I did another stroke on the back sheet of the artist quality paper. And you can see the difference between the front and the back. The front is a nice smooth application, uh, even even flow of color. But you can see here on the back of the paper, it's got it's a little bit rougher texture, and it doesn't smoothly dry. Uh, it doesn't smoothly spread out the paper uh, paint on the paper. There's a difference between the back and the front of the of a watercolor paper. Now, one of the things that uh, I had a question on was how do you identify the front and the back? Well, on the Gemini paper, there is a, and I'll show a close up here. Of, there is a embossed symbol on the front of the paper. Another way of looking at the between the front and the back, if you turn the paper over on the back on the deckled edge, you'll see a hard line on the back of the paper. So that's two ways of showing. If you had the embossed label or embossed uh, emblem on the front, and also the edge of the back edge of the decal, which will give you a line. Also, if you if you feel it with your fingers very lightly, you'll find the front side is a smoother texture than the back side. The back side is a little rougher. Now what I, when you buy a sheet of uh, watercolor paper, it's 30 by 22. So when you cut it down, and like, these are quarter sheets, what I do is I mark the front side. And there's a little X I put up there. And when I cut this, when I cut the uh, paper into four pieces, I mark each quarter with that X. That way I know which, because there's only one corner that's going to have the embossed symbol. So I use that X to show me where the front side of the paper is. Now here's a, here's a little, a little small piece I did uh, earlier. And it's dried. But what I can do with this 100% cotton paper is I can wet a brush. This is a round brush. And before I do that, what I can do is I can draw, this is a uh, white charcoal pencil, and I can draw in a, a, a diagram of something, maybe a building or something. Little. It gives me some guidelines. Now wet the brush. And I'll wet the paper where I want to have the lifting. Now let that sit for about 10 seconds. What that does, it re-wets the paper on this, on this Gemini paper. It re-wets the paint. And then I take a cloth towel, a terry cloth towel, clean. And then I blot it dry. And I find a clean, another clean section, dry section, and I rub. And I can rub as hard as I want to lift off that shape. Let's try that again. Let's say I had uh, over here, I had maybe a, a tree trunk.
Let the paint sit for about 10 seconds. And blot it with a towel. And pick another section. And rub it off. Okay, that's a lifting technique with the artist quality paper. I also use 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. This is wood, this is wood pulp. And the wood pulp is uh, just exactly what it is. It's made out of wood fiber. Uh, but it doesn't give you what I consider the same quality that you that you would expect out of uh, quality watercolor paper. And let's try some of that same technique there. Let's go ahead and draw the the shape on here. Let's wet this paper same way. Let it sit for 10 seconds. Blood dry. Get the dry piece. Rub it off. I noticed the lifting did happen, but at the edges are, are not as sharp as on the artist quality. The edges are much sharper on the artist quality paper. These are a little more smeared. Let's take the other the other shape over here. Let's draw on that that tree trunk. Wait ten seconds. Blood it. And rub it off. Again, the edges are not as, as sharp and well defined as they were on the artist quality paper. So there's a difference between using uh, artist quality paper and using uh, wood pulp paper, 140 pound, full press. And to go back here also, uh, you can see here as a review, the uh, the pulp paper uh, didn't go down as smoothly. The, the, there's a little blotching here, a little bit of the dark and light areas. So it depends on what kind of technique you want to do in your paintings, whether it's lifting or painting or adding a, a special effects on your, on your paper. There's a good reason for having a good quality paper that you have. Now, Gemini has got a good, is a good brand to start with. There are other brands out there of artist quality, 100% cotton. When you do a practice, I recommend that you practice on the paper that you're going to be painting on. That way you don't have any surprises on uh, practicing on one kind of paper and then painting on another. Well, that was an exercise in how to use quality watercolor paper. And you can see the results between the 100% the cotton and the wood pulp paper itself. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next question and answer session. Bye for now.